Welcome guys to Folktale. This is a real-time strategy city builder god game. <laughs> and I've been waiting for one of these for quite a while. And so far, I'm loving it. Um, I'll get into the story in a second of the game. Um, this is very early in development. I'm... 0 0.1, there we go, that's how early it is. Um, first we'll take a look at options, this is as good as it gets, except VSync is on as many frames as I can have. <laughs> it would be nice to see AA and AF options, because the textures of course, would be nice to have a bit of filtering on there, but of course, like I said, 0.1, it's very early. Um, okay, now with that, we shall... This has only got a tutorial in, technically. Wow. They called it a mini campaign tutorial. This is just to show off the the game, really. You, um, they were going to do it... Nice artwork. Um, wow. Wow. I'll, I'll shut up for this and for months, I like it. <laughs> people have struggled through swamps and forests, across deserts and frozen wastes, battling storms and high seas that threatened to dash them against the rocks. They came to escape from the tyranny of the evil Lord Black Dark, whose rogue financiers had crushed the population to little more than indentured slaves. Fleeing a land where toast is rationed to only the select few and a the good people eat only stale bread. Your brave subjects. That's something in this game is where arriving on the shores the people think that is toast they is God. To find peace so and yeah, <laughs> where they can farm and build a new. Oh look, there's Bernard. Hello. Where was I? Oh yes, to Hello. a land where your people can build a new society, where freedom and toast are available to everyone. And it is up to you, our steely-eyed leader, to build a brighter future for your brave pioneers. Because let's face it, the villagers aren't the sharpest swords in what the What could this be referencing? <laughs> this is the world of folktale. Uh -huh. Every time I see that, I love it. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, go away, you. Uh, what this is, this is a set map. You can't change it. There's no builder in the game, and that's how they were going to do it. They were going to build all the maps for you, and then you go through playing them. But that's what, well, that's what they originally were going to do, but, of course, they actually listened to the community, and that's not exactly what they wanted what they wanted was a map builder so what they the developers have done is made it well making a map builder for you and it's not i think don't think the current version of a map builder can make stuff look like this cuz it's it's like a um cube drag and drop kind of thing so far but they're working on more tile sets to make it well it's not exactly a good one to do like here where it's pretty smooth where on the um, map builder it's still slightly blocky but they are sorting out and with that you'll be able to download other people's maps Ooh. and play them I'm sure they'll probably do their own campaign thing in it as well, but they weren't going to do a map build thing, but they are, which I love, because of course, map builders are awesome, and I'm probably going to suck at it. So here we go. I'm going to say that we're in there. There we go. We should set to work building a also, one thing I, I just got to say about him is he reminds me of the uh, guild leader in... Um, Fable. Just so much. So build a windmill. Where should we build it? We could build it right in the middle there. Or we could build up here where there's more wind. And of course, 
that doesn't actually matter. It's just me being picky because I want it to look nice. I think we'll do it on a beach. This is the build menu. We currently can't build anything else just because, of course, it's a tutorial. But, Super. yeah. Our villagers were set to work hammering and there we go. Just about to say that. As soon as you build, click to build a building, the people go automatically to it. So let's build two farms. Lovely and close for them there. New building options are available. Now, from what I have learned so far, I believe the more, well, the better your village is in here, which of course will be expanded in the actual further game, the more people come in on boats. I don't think you can actually, like, just build a new house and there we go, I've got like 15 more people. I believe it is just. The better you make your city, town, thing, the better it is. And also, when they said it's a mini, tutor uh, mini campaign tutorial thing, it really has got a lot in here. <laughs> it's not just that one town and that's it. It is definitely got a lot. But let's go back to our town. And I can't actually move there. Well, that's disappointing. Hopefully they add that in the game. Being able to click on the map. What if I can do it on here? No, I cannot. Okay, let's slowly fly back. As you can see, every person's got a name, which I love for names. Like, when I played before, I got somebody who was called Bold. Well, like, Kevin the Bold or something. But he had a full set of hair. Now what we need to do, we need to find a man, well I guess we've got a man here, um, let's On train him. Way. One thing I'm a bit confused about is women, right away. You, you can't make women things, or at least not, there's probably certain classes which I can be but it's still confusing. Also another thing is you can actually ooh, go inside buildings, or not, I guess. Let's try a different building, shall we? Um, here we go. See? Look at that. We were planning on... I believe they're actually planning on changing how... How it works, so it's actually an instance. So there will be a door there, you go in, and it goes to a different... Um world and then you leave and then you're back here instead of just being open because of course that is taking up resources to actually load which it would be nice to able to go in and out just well be able to see in and out like that but i can understand how they're talking about because one thing they're talking about doing is the tardis effect thing oh, upstairs so the inside can actually be larger than the outside, and we need to make a building here, I believe. Wood cutters. And as you can see, we are getting more and more buildings to build. Let's go check on our farmer. Is he planting in the other field? Yes, he is. Good. And of course, you can see all your resources up there, and... Don't do what I did last time in the tutorial if you end up playing this, is don't just like build a load of buildings because then you're kind of stuck. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not going to do that next time. Look at all of them build. Building options are available. Now, now I wonder if I can get a bold. Yeah, we'll get Merry Bell here. Now watch this transformation. Send him for training. Boom, he's got hair. Boom, he's... He's different. Yes, they do. <laughs> now let's go capture a lumber field. And... I wonder... I'm not sure when they're actually going to be um, 
releasing the sandbox. That's what we're calling a sandbox mode, which is the oh, it was him talking, um, which is the map building thing. There we go. Now he should start chopping. Saw logs into planks that can be used to construct other buildings. We'll also need As you can see, cottage, stone. cottage. You can't actually the click on them. The oh, this is something else which I find cool. They've got inventories. So if you've got a knight, you can add a sword, a helm. Well, you can do it to him as well, but I'm not going to because I'm mean. So here we go. We shall build a iron smelt. This is the iron mine, isn't it? Yes, it is, because last time I kind of placed him in the wrong place. Yeah, and that's how I screwed up. Let's watch him all run off. I think you can. Yeah, you can select multiple ones at once. Okay, let's send them up there to build. Or not, or just stand there then. I think it takes them like a second after being selected to, to then continue of what they're doing. Oh, there's actually a bird somewhere. Or just just a shadow then. Oh, they're coming for me out of a direction. Now what you can do is I believe buildings have as we can see here, yeah. That's got five slots, so if we want more than five farmers, we would all, of course need another windmill. Here we go oh, and no. They're just oh, stood oh there. Way. I'm not sure if that's... They're not able to build on it, or they just they just don't want to. But yeah. I am loving the art style in this. Of course, like I said before, AF would be nice, but... It's fine. It's fine! Building options there we go. Yep. Ta -ta. There we go. Ta-ta! Excellent! Before our miner can get to work, we need to clear out the rat infestation near the mine. And, and there the are actually enemies here. Wow. <laughs> My people are destroying them. And also, as you can see, loot. Yes. Yes, yes. Loot all. Loot all and loot all. There we go. Stone cutter. Here we go. Stone cutter. Uh, here's the advisor. Look at him. That is. Look how detailed it is. Instead of low quality like most games nowadays and you can actually see his face. There is a way to go into like their mode but I can't figure out how. Perhaps it's that. Yes it is. There we go. I'm smart. Now if there was a place to go we could probably go in there. But let's try and sneak into this house shall we? There we go. Look at it. He, he's just stood there. New building options are available. But I am curious to see what they're going to do with a tar Tardis effect, because of course they don't want like a small hut, and I don't think they're going to be doing this. But I don't want a small hut and then it being like basic, basically a giant mall thing inside. Okay, let's swap back. Uh, you finished building? Yes, you are. A woman's work is never done. Sure, if you say so. <laughs> Let's capture this. Nah, more people, the faster it goes. And now I need you to be you. There we go. Look at you go. Up he goes. And he's changed. Drastically. <laughs> Oh. Now this is one thing I hope they actually put in the game is what some is kind of. What did the big man say? 
big man. Um, cut scene he says editor. He's been talking to them weird food monks who is like all I the hope way they up do, on the mountain. And in, in it though, they is proper in the cloud. These voices. They see all these like filthy human beings getting comfy on our turf. All it's so good. Nothing, you get me, bro? <laughs> I hear you, man. So the big man reckons oh. they is all our property, and he'll get some wicked coin for them, innit? What's the plan? Yes. We go down in there, it. and they're all like, Oh no, in it, please bruv. don't make us into slaves. And we like, take them back up to the big man. They got any protection, bruv? Nah, man, that's the best <laughs> thing. They got nothing. Let's do this. I hear you, man. Let's do it. <laughs> Listen up. He was all the property of the slave master Urzal. We're taking some of you to be so his slaves. Nice. <laughs> the rest of you better shut it or we will take all of you. This is but our village now. You it's get it's me, just yeah? the voice which makes it. <laughs> oh, I hope they don't change the voice. Well, I guess we ain't alone on this island. It no is more. amazing. So what are we going to do, lads? Well, we can't just leave them to the goblins, can we, dear Yeah, boy? we can. We should we'll just make new people. Them. But we're not soldiers, we ain't got no swords or nothing. If we don't go and get them back, them goblins will be thinking we's all just here like turkeys waiting for Why has he got an axe and an axe on his back? Good, brave Why? Who can go on Why do you need mission? two axes? What about you, Bernard? After all, they did take your wife. Uh, well, um, uh... Well, I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, I can't go. I'm sure I've he's happy his wife is gone. Important buildings to make. Shoot, I can't go. <laughs> I've got important, um, logs to, to chop. chop. <laughs> I've got, um, important, uh, holes to dig. Hey, didn't they also take Jethro the farmer? What? They the took farmer? Jethro. No. You know, the farmer. But Not that means... Farmer? What? That means that we can't grow wheat. So? If we can't Screw grow Screw my wheat, wife. I care for a farmer. Bread. So? If we can't make bread, then... What is it, man? We can't that eat. That means we can't have toast. <gasps> That's it, boys. We're toast. going to get Jeff Rowe. Aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, yeah. Let's get the wife, too. Let's get tooled yeah. up. Who cares about the wife? One of your built. So, uh... We need some improvised ah. weapons to defend the village with. Let's build a barracks. And build a the barracks. There. there we go. Clean one militia after this. There's, there's no toast. Nothing. We want toast. Oh. That popped up quite fast. Let's try and go inside now. Can we climb ladders? We can't. Ah. Perhaps it's just because it's not built yet. Oh. Let's try now. No, you, you just can't go in. Wow. New I love it. Also, with the TARDIS effect, you can obviously see what they're doing here is, of course, make it much bigger and perhaps have more weapons than that and things to attack in here. Perhaps even a dungeon. Okay, we now need a person. Uh, let's find a you. Oops. D did I select someone? <laughs> you. There we go. Oh, very. He's coming. Oh, I don't want you. Go away. Like they would have these dummies inside. Before sending out a party of adventurers to rescue the villagers. Ah, they've got skills. Some combat training. There are some mischievous-looking critters close to the village. Clear them out and let's see if there's anything interesting to be found. And I. That's one thing which I'm a little annoyed with is I keep pressing right click to move, but it's actually left click. It's not. It's not annoying, annoying, it's just. I'm not used to it and. Yeah. I'm sure you understand what I mean. I could probably rebind it. But I haven't even looked into it. Look at him go. We shall charge along with him. Good, we can run. That would have been a bit disappointing if we couldn't run in camera mode. In second camera mode, I should say. And we'll also be able to see what it's like in a battle. Oops. You can do it, guy. Drink to your death. 
you gonna kill them? Do I have to do anything? Or you, you're gonna die? Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'll train a new person. And I've lost it. That's great. See you next week. Or later. Yeah. See ya. Hope you enjoyed. There'll be a link in the description to the Steam page and also the developer's website. It, it, if you don't want this game until later, of course, wait. If you're not sure about it, don't don't get it now. Wait until perhaps the sandbox mode is out and then see how you like it then. Because like I said, it is just this. But it's nice. And... Yeah, wait until sandbox mode is out before jumping on. Because then you'll start seeing a load more campaigns and things. And I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye, stupid goblins.